Brian, one 0 win here against Chesterfield. Just how big a victory is that for your side? Oh, it's a massive victory. You know, we knew it was always going to be difficult today. You know, when it, against the Chesterfield team, are in really good form. Since John Sheridan's gone in, you know, they've had one defeat in the last nine. So it was always going to be a test for us. Um, like I said during the week, it, it's about what we do. You know, it's it wasn't the most entertaining game, if I'm being honest. But it was very workmanlike from us today. You know, we did what we had to do. And when that moment of quality came in the game, we, we took we took our chance. In yeah, timely fashion as well. Good time to score. Good ball in from Luke Young. And uh, Akil Wright's making a habit of scoring lately, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, to be, and he's got all the ability in the world to get into them areas, Akil Wright. You know, that, that's what I've tried to touch on with him over the last few weeks. Um, at half time, I spoke to them and... I thought we got in some good positions in the first half, but our quality in the final third, our cross, our decision making, uh, that final pass just wasn't quite there. Um, I think we were trying to find that killer ball too too quickly, you know, that precise cross that lands on someone's head. And I, I just briefed them to say it's not about that, it's about getting the ball in the, just into an area where we've got someone who can attack it. And it was a fantastic ball off Luke Young and a great runner for Keel and finish. In terms of that sort of patient approach to the games, have you? found that's been an important element into breaking sides down in recent weeks? Well, yeah. it's. Um, I think the first goal in any game in this league is important. It's, it's massive. Um, I would like to score in the first half, if I'm being honest. You know, all our goals under my reign so far have been second half, but that's testament to the players. You know, they're listening to what we're, the advice we're giving them at half-time and trying to implement it in the second half, and it's paid dividends so far. But, yeah, we've, we've, got, we've still got a, lot, a long way to go now. You know, it's... Um, it's a, it's a good performance. Um, like I say, it wasn't the most entertaining game. You know, both teams probably it was like a, it was like a fight in the end of the day. You know, jabbing each other um, and having a look at each other all the way through the ninety minutes. And luckily enough for us, that at that last minute, um, a bit of quality came in, in the second half, and, and we sort of got the winner. In terms of a 1 0 defeat, I guess managers would take those all day, but um, you had to be disciplined at the end there as well, um, see the game out, because um, I know already the season Chesterfield have, have given a late equaliser against Wrexham, but this, this group of players seem to have that strong mentality and, as we've mentioned in recent weeks, the belief. Yeah, and it's like I said when I first come in, it's all about creating that unified approach. You know, a new manager coming in the building, you always get a response from the players, but they're buying into little things that I'm trying to. To get into them, especially at this this stage of the season, I know how critical this stage of the season is. You know, I've been in m many teams where there's been something to play for come the end of the season, whether it be playoffs or Wembley visits and stuff. So, it's about keeping the focus, keeping that that commitment, that desire, which they've all got in abundance. Um, and let's see how far it can take us. In terms of uh, your team selection, you lose one skipper in uh, Mark Carrington today. I don't know if that was um, through injury, but. I guess a big boost to have uh, Sean Pearson coming back and Kieran Kennedy being able to slot it at right back. Yeah, it was obviously Carrington getting injured last weekend um, against Gateshead. It was a bit of a blow for him because he's been playing well, but Sean, we knew it was, was going to be tight with the call on Sean. Um, he's trained the last couple of days, still feels his back slightly from his from the injury. Um, but he's a big presence, you know, in our team. He's the captain. and. 90, 95% Sean Pearson, I'm going to play him, you know, he's a big presence, like I said. Um, he's got that desire and it rubs off on all the players. Uh, in terms of your league position, still top five clear for a few hours at least. Um, and Leighton Orient next week, I know they've got two games in hand, but just how big a game is that going to be next week in terms of potentially um, defining a season? Yeah, well, they're next up, aren't they, in my eyes. Leighton Orient's the next. Um, every game's the next, the next one's the biggest game for me. Um, and next week it'll be late in Orient, so we'll plan, we'll prepare, um, and we'll try and go there and get the right result. Um, like I say, there's a there's got to be a big emphasis on it, you know, because we're first and second in the league at present, you know, bearing the result of uh, Solihull Moors now. Uh, but but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? People will say it might be the decider going forward, but there's still plenty of games to play after next week. Um, like I say, all the time, we'll just focus on what we have to do and we'll address it when, we, when, when it comes on Saturday. Finally, that's five games down for you as, as manager of Wrexham. Four wins, one draw, not a bad return. Eh? Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, I couldn't have dreamt of a, of a better start. Um, but it's, it's, it's not about me. You know, I've said that from day one. It's about trying our best to, to make this club successful. And it's all about the players who are going to do that. They're the ones that cross that line, come three o'clock 
um, and they're the ones who have to put all the energy in, that desire that I keep talking about, the commitment um, to try and get the results come five o'clock on, on a Saturday or nine, half nine on, on, a, on a Tuesday night. So, so far they're doing it um, and now it's about taking each game as it comes, late in Orient next week and we'll, we'll go down and hopefully get the right result. Yes, congratulations. Thanks.